Hi, I'm Bobby Crispy. This guitar lesson is video number one on speed. In this video, I'll mostly discuss what speed is about. Speed can be thought of as the rapid progression of musical notes played within a given period of time. For guitar players, it has become the holy grail of skills. Extremely difficult, but not impossible to play and can be used within a certain context to define how skilled the player is. In other words, when you're showing off. It can be found in a variety of musical styles, whether it's a heavy metal guitar solo, a violin concerto, or a jazz piano solo. Even as far back as the Renaissance, they had some fret-burning riffs written for the lute, Speed itself is an expression of excitement, as opposed to a slow guitar line, which is more of an expression of a somber mood. But speed itself is no good. You also, have a, you also need to have a high musical value, otherwise you become more of a circus act than a musician. Here's an example. Here's a riff that's high in speed, but low on musical value. Sounds like shit. Oh, I shouldn't swear. You know what I was going to say. So, when you're uh, playing with speed, just remember to keep in mind you have to have a high musical value as well as speed. You can also add variety to your performance. Because you, you don't want to play at one speed, that would be pretty boring. Now, another benefit of speed is that it raises the bar of your ability to play within a musical context. For example, if your fastest speed is 120 beats per minute, and the song you're playing is 100 beats per minute, then you should feel pretty comfortable. But if your top speed is only 80 beats per minute, and you're trying to play at 100 beats per minute, then you're going to be struggling trying to play that same song. Um, when playing a super fast guitar line, you should be relaxed and hear and feel every note and not playing in a state of panic. Your fingers need to be relaxed and not tense. Tension and panic can be a guitar player's worst enemy. And that brings us to the first requirement of playing with speed. Patience. Playing a line slowly and with precision first, and then building speed gradually. You need to play slowly at first in order to hammer out the mistakes that you're making. The next requirement of speed is a metronome. These. It allows you to play at a given speed precisely and can be used to increase your speed gradually. It also has a better sense of timing than you do. Finally, the last requirement of speed is consistency of practice. Be sure to work on your speed skills every day. Practice, 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 and before you know it, you'll be smoking on the guitar. Keep your guitar in proper condition as well. Uh, when it comes to speed, make sure your guitar is properly intonated. You don't want the strings to be too high. They should be nice and low, like, like on this guitar here. Um, fretboard cleaners also help as well, such as Fast Fret and Fretboard 65. You need to have a clean fretboard if you want to play fast, because it's hard to play fast with a dirty fretboard, dirty strings. Okay, so that's it. Um, my next video on speed, I'll show some exercises on how to develop speed. Bye for now.